Hey guys, Jason here with Bounce Wave Inflatable Sales. This is our 18-foot uh, hybrid lava, lava falls. Uh, this is an 18-footer. Again, a lot of people ask, how do you roll them? Again, everyone's different in their approach. We roll back to front. Um, a couple reasons is we can get the bulk of the material, as you're going to see back there. We're going to spread that out for you. And we'll roll downhill as opposed to starting at the pool, getting to this point of the slide, having a, a bigger roll already, and then having to go over most of the material, which makes it harder. Not only that, if any water was inside, it can drain out of that zipper right there on its way down um, with the unit. So if you look back here, basically we're going to pull the back of the, of the slide to the seam back here. Here is your flat face bottom, the back. So the back section will be pulled to the seams. You want your seam and your underlay to stay flat on the ground. You can see here, we'll flatten out the whole slide. This is on the hybrid only. Uh, on this, we're also gonna take our pool. Everybody's a little different how they do it. We pull it all the way back to the stair. This is a 550 pound unit. Make sure you got a couple options here. Make sure you undo the flaps at the bottom, as you can see there. You can undo those flaps. This is a new unit, so we're not gonna do it, but you can just un Velcro them more, come out and so forth. But remember to put them back on, because the problem is if you blow them up and they're open, you're gonna know it. So if you come over here, always, 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 no matter whose slide you're rolling, what slide you're rolling, stair side first if it's a left side climb. Center climb's a little different, you fold it into the middle, but a left side climb, you gotta get the stairs flat and over, right? So flat and over. And the reason I know this will be flat is because when they just did that, when I walk it, I will feel like right there, I will feel the stairs. You can literally see the stairs a little bit right here. You can see that they are actually flat. If they were not, they would cone this, this section up right here and you'd see it. And when you go to roll it, it creates an oblong one side. So we wanna make sure the stairs are, as you can see, very flat. Now, to make it really short and fat, if you did fold, fold, and fold, you could do that. This is a longer unit. It's gonna be really, really short and really, really fat. We like them nose to forehead high. So half over, half over that. We folded the stair side halfway over, folded the opposing side of the slide halfway over that, all right? This gives us about this width that we see here. Upside is, again, when you dolly this, it's way more manageable than a short, very fat piece. It takes less room up in the trailer, less room up for storage. Downside is your, your exposed material gets on the bottom a little bit, which can make it a little more dirtier. There's your downside. But as far as easeability and things like that, it's a little bit easier. So if we look at this, see, I like to start back here because if you look at it, this is where your mass mainly is, right here. It's right here. So if I start a tight roll back here, I'm going to have a little bit of a tougher time getting to about here. But once I'm here, I'm kind of downhill. That's why I like this way a little bit better. Here's your straps here. Don't forget to set them. Flip it back, set your straps, because if you roll it, you got to strap it. And if you don't, you know, you're not going to have anything to strap it with when it's done. When you start your roll, don't be too crazy. I see some people do a big fold up. You really want to pull it into you and, and start the roll really kind of as tight as you can, getting it pushed down and pushed in. Uh, the best you can. Two people are doing it. You want them to stay in the same kind of speed and run. And here's what I'm talking about. See how quick? Okay, so we've got this part of the roll. We're gonna get to the bigger section here, right? What we're gonna do is lift up and over, just like that. Same thing on this side again, up and over. So we're not only just pushing up, we're pushing it as we top it back down. And you can see right there. This part now, you'll come straight down, just like that. The rest of the slide is now pretty much going to be downhill. See how much easier it gets. And just watch that either staying, whoever's rolling, or somewhat staying together to keep the roll within reason. And using your knee as leverage. Re relatively tight. So you can see there that that is the finish of that particular roll. Of your particular roll. And... Uh, there and then they can strap it up and it's, it's good to go this one even got away from us a little bit here as you can see just a little bit 
But again, when they tip this up, and I'll show you this, it's kind of cool. So when they tip this up, for me, it's going to be nose to forehead high or right around there. Why? So when I put it back on the dolly, I can get that leverage to get it back. And when I'm carrying it on the dolly, even if it's an electric dolly, because if it's super front heavy, an electric dolly, every time you do something, it wants to go forward. So as I told you, nose to forehead, somewhere in there. It's going to work the same every single time. Now I can get this in a trailer easily. I can store this easily. And if I had to get it back on the dolly, you know, which I do have to do that, I got leverage here. When it's right here and I'm trying to do it, it's almost impossible. Big old fat roll out there is almost undoable. So, you know, when you put it on a dolly, as you'll see here, this is an electric dolly. Um, when you throw it on a dolly, All right. you'll see how it's gonna fill the dolly and lay right on the dolly, watch. Now, if this was a manual dolly, I can use my leverage to hold this between my core and my arms, yeah? So, but if it was this tall and kind of this much more round, anything forward, it wants to, everything wants to go forward. Any pothole I hit, any bump, I want to lose it because it's front heavy. Everything, if I'm holding it and trying to get the dolly to a level position to where it's not dragging me down, but I want that base here where I can push, but there's leverage up top as well not all front forward because anything I hit the whole thing is going to want to go. This is kind of why we do it. We do it for storage and, and for us easeability. Downside again, the second downside for a little bit longer, a little bit tougher to get up on its end when you lift it up. Upside everything else from there back to the shop or to wherever you're taking it, much much easier to go you know basically chin to, to forehead high which is roughly anywhere from five eight to six foot tall is our preference. So that's how you roll a hybrid. That's about how it should look. On your tag, you can write hybrid on it. It's always going to be by the buckle, so you know what the unit is. And uh, one of the most rented slides, uh, without a doubt, and most most purchased slides in the country that's gaining a lot, a lot of traction. 888-901 Wave. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you or guide you in rolling or purchasing or whatever you might need. 888-901 Wave.